How do you fix a blocked dead screen issues after replacing a new LCD? So here is the old screen, it has a crack so after replacing the LCD, the phone uh, simply not turning on or you're simply uh, getting a black screen. Now there are many uh, issues that can cause uh, this uh, similar problems and um, I'm going to give you some uh, suggestions and uh, some ways you can try to uh, fix it. Uh, there is no one single solution that can fix all uh, the problems so um, but depending on uh, what you've done to the phone it can uh, uh, be different things that cause the same issue so I have uh, experienced uh, a number of times already after putting in a new LCD replacement the phone just won't turn on or it will turn on the screen just stay black so the first thing you want to do is try to um, press on the home so after you have connected everything, try to press on the home key and the home key and the power key both at the same time to reset the phone. So press on both key here and press and hold for 10 seconds on both key and see if the phone going to uh, reboot or restart. If that does not solve the problems, uh, you may want to see if you can try to chat up the battery. Uh, if you have left the phone uh, stay flat for a long time, for a few weeks or a month and if it is not charged up then uh, you wouldn't see that the screen or the phone won't turn on so if you are impatient you might notice, you might think something is wrong when in fact the battery is just gone flat so try to connect the battery to, your, to the charger or try to connect the charger to the phone and see if you can uh, wait for half an hour to an hour to see if you can charge up the battery so then after that you can try to restart the phone and the next thing you can do is try to um, uh, dis disconnect the battery in here so just um, open this up and try to um, disconnect the battery connector and uh, try to connect it again and then charge up the phone see if that uh, help solve the problem Another thing you want to do is try to, um, if you after you try all that, try to remove the screen. So try to remove the new screen and put back the new, the old screen. So um, when you do so, um, disconnect the battery, disconnect the battery, remove the the new screen that you put on, and uh, try to put back the old screen. Then reconnect the battery and power up the phone. See if that works. Um, sometimes during the installation process you could damage the cables or the screen could go faulty uh, especially after a chip aftermarket sometimes the screen is faulty and uh, you want to um, plug in plug back the old screen see if, if the old screen works if it works fine then it could be uh, something to do with the new screen maybe the quality is not that good uh, low quality screen may uh, will tend to uh, cause problem on your phone so give that a go and see how you go um, sometimes um, by not putting the screw on properly so check with your new screen make sure all the screws go in the right positions uh, there's, there is a um, things that you can use for example the the screw tray distributor so you can use this tray and make sure that you put the screws in the right uh, holes and when you are um, ready to put everything back uh, you want to make sure that you put this right, the right screw back into the, the right hole if you put the long screw in the wrong place it can uh, definitely damage the board or uh, traces on the board that cause the, um, the connectors not to work uh, correctly so make sure that you put the screws in the right place and, uh, and give that a try because um, sometimes uh, if you don't do it correctly the backlight may have any issues so if you plug your phone into the computer or into iTunes and iTunes recognizes the phone, that means the phone turns on but the screen is not displaying anything, it could be the backlight is damaged what you can do is try to shine a torch onto the screen if you shine the torch into the screen or something very bright and if you move your phone at an angle and you can see there is some kind of uh, light at the background very very dim backlight at the background uh, this, in this case it could be that uh, the backlight is damaged and uh, you may need to uh, fix that backlight issues it is um, very difficult uh, unless you are very skilled um, it is uh, not, uh, not an easy job to fix because all the component is really really small and you need to have the right tools um, to fix that 
Another thing you can do is to check um, when the phone is damaged and uh, if water gets into the home key here it could switch down at the back here where the flex cable is and if the flex cable is damaged or water damaged uh, it could uh, cause the screen not to function properly so in this case if you know the phone is uh, has been water damaged and the home button is uh, water damaged then you want to disconnect at the top here you want to disconnect all the flex cable and leave only the LCD cables so put the um, uh, digitizer and the LCD cables in only and with that two cables you want to turn on the phone and test to see if the screen turns on and if that turns on that means um, the home cable is damaged and you might want to uh, fix the home cable uh, cable to fix the issues so those are some of the things you can try uh, try out to fix the issues another thing I guess you can do is try to plug the phone into iTunes and perform a restore uh, performing restore can cause your phone to lose data so you want to back up first before restoring it and uh, definitely sometimes restoring the um, restoring the phone can uh, get it to work again so give that a try so those are some of the, uh, the solutions that you can try out uh, they may not they may or may not fix your problems but at least you can give it a go thank you for watching this video